hardly contain myself because we are celebrating dads all week long. Today we have a double whammy. We have two dads raising two twin boys. So we have Matt, Richard, Ian, and Eli. Thank you so much. And you're celebrating Thank your you. very first Father's Day. Yeah. How does that feel to hear that? Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I love it because we met through text yeah. on this show, which is why you should text us. Um, and it was during the infertility week that we did, and I announced that I'm pregnant. I'm 19 weeks along now, and you guys were like, thank you. And you guys were like, oh my gosh, we just did IVF through surrogate. And it's amazing, obviously, to see these two little guys. So tell us how you started that process because surrogacy was a challenge for any Washington parent. Yes. Uh, um, up until the law passed earlier this year, which I think goes in effect in January, it was not legal to um, pay a surrogate in the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. so, so what did you do? So we um, found out through some research at the time that Oregon, Colorado, and California were the best states that had the laws in place. So we went to an agency in Portland that had a 20-year reputation, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. Yeah, and worked with them, and they found us an awesomely sweet surrogate <laughs> in California to carry these two. Oh my gosh, and so each of you created an embryo with the same donor egg, so that means that Correct. each child is biologically connected to you. Yes. Yeah. That's well, amazing. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I'm guessing that Ian mm -hmm. is biologically connected to Richard, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> and Eli is biologically connected to you. Yes. But you're all one big happy modern family, and you guys have so many interesting stories. You could talk about immigration, <laughs> you could talk about, you know, IVF, you could uh, talk about... <laughs> What do you want to Everything. Talk about? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. There you go, Are you getting uh, sleep? More now. More now. No, yeah. No, I know, I know, I know. What um, advice would you give to someone who is challenged right now and they want to become fathers? Um, I would definitely What's work wrong? with some groups. Um, there's a group called Men Having Babies that has done um, here, grant here. programs. They're actually based in New York, I okay. believe. But they do grant programs, for example, because surrogacy is very expensive. Mm -hmm. And I would definitely research any uh, company that you're going to work with to make sure that they're reputable. Um, you know, you want to, this type of process and everything, you really want to make sure that they um, have a relationship with a good fertility clinic yeah. and that they are reputable as well. Okay. Hey, Jordan, come back over here because, you know, Jordan has twins as well. <laughs> One of my uh, tricks whenever my kids would start fussing, you know, you never know what they're fussing, you know, you know what they want. I would take them outside mm -hmm. and just the nature, you know, they would look at the tree and usually <laughs> they would calm them down and so that's what I was trying to do with this little guy. How are you? It works. How around are you? Lights. So um, I guess for my thing, like, do you guys have any questions? Like I have twins, they're four now. Um, you know, my, my big tip is obviously patience. Try to get them on the same schedule if you can. And then um, the big thing for me, which was so difficult, was your lifestyle completely changes once you have the kids. Oh, yeah. You know, you're used to <laughs> you're going out. That. You're used to going out. You're used to, you know, you know, doing stuff on the weekends. And you really have to just mold to their needs. And once mm -hmm. I realized that, which took like eight months, <laughs> then my life, then I started stopping getting stressed. Because like, I had plans this weekend. They're acting and why can't, and I'm like, Oh, it's not about me anymore. <laughs> Got it. So that was my thing. What, do, okay? ha, what have you really liked, though, loved about raising twins? Me? Both of you. Oh, they're, they have best friends. I mean, they're, they, they're the first people they see in the morning, last mm -hmm. people they see at night. They're friends forever. You get a break when they get a little older. You're, it's hard right now, but by the age one, one and a half, and then they're playing by this, and you're like, oh. I can actually do something again, right, yeah. and it really helps out. And so they learn to share right off the bat. And all, all of it's true what they say. Two is what do they say? Double the the, the double the pleasure, double the fun. Yes, there yes, exactly. Double, well, that was a Wrigley's commercial. I, I know. know. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Are you looking for food, or are you? Is just it a hard? I mean, has it been a hard adjustment? Do you get a lot of help? We didn't have too much help. Um, my family lives on the East Coast. Richard's family lives in China. Uh -huh. But um, one of our, we had some friends and family come over sometimes, and we had one really, one of our closest friends, um, Donna, came up multiple weekends from Portland. So you need a support system. You do, absolutely. <laughs> 
I can't tell you how excited that I am that we met. You texted that day, and also just that this has become such a great story for you. And uh, just happy for you. You should go take him outside. <laughs> well, I'll need a babysitter at some point, so maybe we can all get together and do, <laughs> you do that? and hang out. Drop your hand. And I love these guys. They've been so quiet, so good. <laughs> what do Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Soon to be. Let's go. <laughs> Soon to be. Let's go over to Chris and Angela.